Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The main tool available for you to use in PowerPoint is the ribbon. This object allows you to perform all of the commands available in the program. The ribbon is divided into tabs. Within these tabs are different button groups of commands. The commands in each group can be accessed either through the use of buttons, boxes, or drop-down menus that are available within the group. To access more advanced options, you can click the dialog box launcher button that appears in the lower right corner of some button groups that have more commands or options available than those displayed in the ribbon. Not every button group will have a dialog box launcher button, however. Double click on the active tab in the ribbon to both hide and show the contents of the ribbon. This can be a handy way to gain additional workspace when composing the slides of the active presentation. You can also set how the ribbon is displayed using the Ribbon Display Options button within the title bar. The options are Auto Hide Ribbon, Show Tabs, or Show Tabs and Commands. At the far right of the ribbon is a small upward facing arrow. You can click this arrow to collapse the ribbon. You can click the Ribbon Display Options button in the title bar and choose the Show Tabs and Commands command from the drop down menu that appears to restore the default appearance of the ribbon. You can click on the main tabs shown in the ribbon to switch the button groups displayed. The default tabs shown in the ribbon are File, Home, Insert, Design, Transitions, Animations, Slideshow, Review, and View. You can also enable the Developer tab if using macros or code. In addition to the primary tabs available for you to use, you will also see special contextual tabs that will appear within the ribbon when you have a particular type of object selected in your presentation. You will see contextual tabs appear, for example, when you have either a picture, table, diagram, drawing, or chart selected in your presentation slide. The button groups that then appear on the contextual tabs will be directly related to the type of object selected. You can make the contextual tabs disappear by clicking away from the selected object within the presentation window. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.